When they introduce the signs and symptoms, now this is called what? Hemorrhoids. Definition, do you understand? Now, what is the role of these plexus, the internal hemorrhoidal plexus? See here. This is the anal canal. Yes or no? We have one uh, plexus here. Next plexus uh, is, is a little bit here, 11 o'clock. Next plexus is here. Next plexus is here. Yes or no? This is one example. And let's see this one. It does not have the plexus and it has the plexus. Which prevent the flow of stool from inside out? It prevents because it is some kind of oxygenation in the canal. Yes or no? So it prevents the leakiness of the stool. It prevents the easy flow of the stool. Yes or no? That's why these uh, cushions or these hemorrhoidal plexus and somehow they are preventing or they are creating the continence. What are they doing? Continence. continence. So what's the role of these cushions or these hemorrhoidal plexus? The function is to create the continence in some degrees. Is that clear? Now, let's learn something which disturbs them. What can be the thing? What is the normal venous pressure? Normal venous pressure. 4 to 8 mm Hg. Yes or no? These veins, this is from the side, I made the picture. This is from the front, I made the picture. Yes, so. If normal venous pressure is 4 to 8 mm Hg, when they are normally working, they collect the blood and then they can flow the blood upward or downward and drain into the inferior vein. Yes or no? By any reason, if this venous pressure increases, for example, the venous pressure here increases more than 10 mm Hg. How much? If this pressure becomes more than 10 mm Hg, can these veins drain this blood easily? Can they drain upward easily? If they do not drain the blood easily upward, what happens? These veins get swell up. These veins get? Before these veins were of this much size, now they swell up into? This much size? Yes or no? If these veins get swell up, these are the veins inside. They are covered by what? Connective tissue. And then covered by what? Mucous membrane. If these veins swell, automatically they will swell yes or no yes, yes or no yes. understood yes. what can be the cause which can cause these veins to increase the pressure increasing the pressure we have this in the what anal canal yes or no these veins are draining the blood to the inferior vena cava yes or no by any reason if the intra abdominal pressure increases what happens pressure in these veins increase yes or no if this pressure increases, can they drain easily now? Pressure is more than 10, for example. Yes? They begin to swell up. Yes or no? Understood or not? This is one reason. What can increase the intra abdominal pressure? Pregnancy. Pregnancy, very good. Any other? Obesity? Yes or no? Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease? Coughing all the time? Yes or no? Increase the intra abdominal pressure? Yes or no? So by any cause, what cause I said? Increase intra-abdominal pressure. Can be the cause can be what? Cause can be what? Pregnancy. Pregnancy. Next one? Obesity. Obesity. Next one? Like COPD. Yes or no? But any reason this pressure increases, this pressure causes what? Stasis of the blood here. This stasis causes these columns to bulge. These cushions to bulge. Is that clear? If they are bulging, let's see this picture. This is what? Ventricline. Normal. Yes or no? When these veins dilate, they begin to bulge. If they bulge, they begin to bulge out. Yes or no? Understood or not? Begin to protrude out. Understand? This condition is called what? Hemorrhoids. This condition is called what? Hemorrhoids. So this is one condition where the pressure increases. Next condition, for example, see, next condition. This cushion is formed by what? What are these? Connective tissues. Yes or no? In the old age, what happens? These connective tissues. Connective tissue mass decrease in the old age. Yes or no? 
if this mass decreases, if this mass decreases, for example, you have the veins here, yes or no? They are carrying the blood against the gravity. How is it possible? Because the muscles contract tissue all the time contracting. This contraction boosts the blood upward. Yes or no? Now you don't have the connective tissue. These veins become very loose. Yes? Can this tissue push or can they pump the blood upward? If they can't, then what happens? The stasis of the blood occurs or not? Yes or no? If the stasis occurs, what happens? This again? Is that clear? So next condition can be what? Only. Is that clear? Everybody understanding? Yes or no? So by this reason or any of the causes which produces this venous stasis, I give you next example. Nowadays we have the mobile phone in the hand. Yes or no? Before what happens? We used to take the water, going to the toilet, crossing this. Thing. Yes or no? Yes? Now that we have mobile phone, along with the water in one hand, we have the mobile phone in the other. Yes or no? <laughs> going to the sure. toilet. <laughs> Sitting in the toilet and watching the movie. Yes? No. Yes or no? no. Playing the PUBG. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The toilet. Yes or no? If you're sitting longer in the toilet, one thing, gravitational pulling is more. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. The next thing you are here and there, that means the pumping of blood is less. Yes or no? By this two reasons, it has more chances of getting stasis of the blood. Yes or no? If more chances of getting stasis, more chances of bulging this. Yes or no? More chances of producing what? Hemorrhoids. Is that clear? So what's the next reason? Long? Lingering in the? Is that clear? Yes or no? Next condition, for example, you have the constipation. You have what? Constipation. Constipation means you are not passing the stool for many days or you are passing the stool very hard. Yes or no? If it is so, stool impaction in your rectum. Yes? If the stool is impacted in the rectum, these all the veins going up and forming a single vein, you have the stool impaction here. This stool can compress this vein, yes or no? If it is compressed, can it carry the uh, venous blood easily upward? No. If it can't carry the blood easily upward, what happens? Stasis occurs? Yes or no? If it's stasis again? Is that clear? So what's the next cause? So what are the causes of these hemorrhoids? Constipation, one cause. Understood how the constipation causes hemorrhoids? Yes or no? Next condition? Anything increasing in the abdomen? Pressure. Maybe pregnancy. Maybe. Maybe. Is that clear? Next condition is old age. How the old age leads to hemorrhoids? Decreasing the connective tissue and pumping force. Next cause is long lingering in the toilet, sitting and playing mobile phone. Is that clear? So you clear what the cause is, yes or no? Yes? Now let's see the next thing. So we understood the cause is yes or no? Yes? Now the types of the hemorrhoids, what you should understand is one uh, hemorrhoid of plexus is above the dentate line, inside the canal canal. Next hemorrhoidal plexus are outside the anal canal. Yes or no? Outside the sphincters. Understood? Now, if these veins burst, they can cause these columns to swell and these columns may protrude outside. Yes or no? But if these veins swell up, where do they go? Let's see. This is what? Hilton's white line. What is this one? Hilton's white line. Up to here we have the sphincters. Up to here we have the? This means this is the muscle. This is the? If these veins swell up, can they go inside from these muscles? No. They will protrude downward because this is what? Tissue rectal fossa, it contains only what? Fatty tissues, which is loose. So they will protrude downward after uh, reaching below this Hilton's white line. This area, it does not have what? Muscles or the sphincters. So these veins can protrude out from them. Is that clear or not? Understood? Yes or no? Yes, sir. So 
if this occurs, this is the internal hemorrhoids. If this way occurs, this is the external hemorrhoids. Is that clear? So general sense, what you should understand is internal hemorrhoids, they occur from above the dentate line. External hemorrhoids, they occur exactly below the pectinate line, but in the general rule, we say below the dentate line. Is that clear? Everybody understood? Yes or no? Next thing you have to understand. If they are coming from here, we have the uh, visceral innervation in these areas. Yes or no? If we have the visceral innervation, it has less pain sensitive. Yes or no? It is less pain sensitive. But this area, this is the skin area. Skin area has what? Parietal innervation or the uh, cutaneous innervation? Yes or no? Or somatic innervation? They are more pain sensitive. Is that clear? So if it happens, patient will feel pain. If this happens, patient may not feel the pain. Is that clear or not? Next thing you have to understand, if these columns burst, if these columns, they burst from this size to they become this much size, when you are passing the stool, it produces less friction or more friction? It produces more friction, has it chances of rupture this mucosa or not? If the mucous membrane is ruptured, bleeding occurs or not? That's why these hemorrhoids will increase the chances of bleeding, which is less painful in this case and more painful in this case. Is that clear? Understood or not? Yes? So what differences we observe? Internal hemorrhoids occur from the internal hemorrhoid plexus, which is about the mind, which is less painful. External hemorrhoids occur below the dentate line. Occurs from the external hemorrhoid plexus. It is more painful. Is that clear? Understood or not? Everybody clear? Yes or no? What can be the symptoms of the hemorrhoids? We know the cause, yes or no? Yes? What can be the symptoms? Okay. Symptoms? Internal bleeding without pain. Yes or no? External bleeding with pain. Yes or no? Next thing we have to understand. This bulging. This bulging. If this causes, if this pressure is slightly increased, this bulging will slightly increase. Yes or no? If pressure more increased, this bulging will? Yes or no? Pressure more increased, bulging will? Is that clear? Yes or no? This defines the grading of internal hemorrhoids. This defines the grading of internal hemorrhoids. So how do we grade if these hemorrhoidal plexus they are simply bulged inside it, which we can see only by the proctoscope or anoscope. Is that clear? This will be considered grade one. Is that clear? If these hemorrhoidal plexus are only bulged inside, which do not come out, and we see only by what? Proctoscope. This is called what? Grade one. If these bulging bulge out, come out from the anal verse, yes, during defecation. And after defecation, they move up. This will be grade what? Two. Is that clear? Because during defecation, pressure will increase more. If more pressure, more bulge in. Yes or no? Understood? So if bulge only inside, which do not prolapse out, this will be considered what? Grade one. If bulge and prolapse out during defecation, but after defecation will go in itself, this will be what? Grade 2. Next, if it bulge out during defecation and you need to push it back, you need to push it back by your finger, this is what grade 3. Is that clear? Yes or no? Now, if it bulge out, yes, you try to push it back, but it is still bulging out, this will be what? Grade is that clear? Everybody clear? Yes or no? So what are the grading of internal hemorrhoids? Gradings? Okay, grade 1 means? Prolapsing? Grade 1 means? Prolapsing? No prolapse. Only bulging inside, swelling inside. Yes or no? Which may produce the discomfort or may produce the bleeding because of this friction. Yes? 
But four times is absent in grade one. Yes, grade two means prolapse out during defecation or during the pressure. Yes, but again it will move back itself. This is what grade two. Grade three means. Burns out and we have to manually. Yes, burns out by any any causes which increases the intraabdominal pressure like coughing, yes, straining or anything else, and need to push it back. This is what grade three. And grade four means. Uh, yes, okay. prolapse out, but you you try to push it back manually, which may not return back. This is what great. Oh. Is that clear? Now, if we know this, how do we diagnose the hemorrhoids? First, you can do the yeah. yes, distal rectal examination. In which position you perform the distal rectal examination? Which position? Yes? You do the Sims position, you know Sims position? What is Sims position? Okay, usually left lateral decubitation of and then bending the right leg, yes or no? Knee to the chest, yes? And then you do the Understood? Have you tried it? We understood yes or no? Diagnosis, first what we should do? After the RE, after the RE, first thing we have to understand is if external hemorrhoid you will see from outside. Yes or no? If prolapsed, you can see from outside. Yes or no? Next thing is very important. Patient will explain you the history. Something goes out and then it again goes back. Yes or no? Next thing, during DRE, what should you do? What should you feel? You should feel this swelling. You should feel the ulceration. You should feel the fissures formation. Is that clear or not? This many things you should feel. After that, you can go for what? Proctoscope or endoscope. Is that clear or not? Yes? Yeah. After proctoscopy, you diagnose this is the hemorrhoids. This is the hemorrhoids. Now, how do you treat these hemorrhoids? How do you treat? Okay. This is external hemorrhoids. External hemorrhoids, thrombosed or non thrombosed Yes? Internal hemorrhoids grade 1 and grade 2. Internal hemorrhoids grade 3 and grade 4. Let's differentiate this way. Non thrombosed grade 1 and 2. You will follow either conservative or non surgical. Is that clear? In general, listen, listen, listen. Hey, you coming what? Now they're coming out. After they're coming out, what happens? From this vein, one vein going to the superior rectal vein, one vein is here. From this vein, one vein going to the middle rectal vein. Next vein, they may come in. Understood or not? Plexus means what happens? The, the network of the blood vessels. Plexus means what? Network of the blood vessels. So, they give some branches, they give some branches in the middle, they, they give some collateral branches and communicate each other. Is that clear? There is no specific site and specific place for that. Is that okay? Simply you have to understand is this communication is between the tributaries of what? Superior rectal, middle rectal, and inferior. Is that clear? That is important to understand. Now, so we are treating external hemorrhoids, we divide in how many? Two. Two what are they? Thrombos and non thrombos. Internal we divide into grade 1, into grade 3, and 4. Non thrombos and 1 into we treat how? Conservative and non surgical. The problem is what? Problem is increasing pressure. Yes or no? You have to decrease the pressure. First thing, after delivery, you have to advise the patient after delivery, the pressure will decrease in the abdomen you will get rid of this problem automatically counseling to your pregnant patient. Yes? If the patient is always, what should you do? 
weight plus exercise. Next thing, because of the constipation, that was the cause. Yes or no? If it is the constipation, what should you do? Okay, high fiber diet. Yes or no? More water intake. Is that clear? Yes or no? Next thing, what should you do? Non surgical. You give the medicine which can soft the stool. Yes or no? Stool? Softener. Any example of stool softener? Lactulose. Lactulose, okay. Recyclable tablet. Yes? Stool softener. After that, what, what you can do? Any cause. Listen, any cause which produces the high tone in this sphincter. Any cause which produces the increased tone in this sphincter. Yes? For example, uh, you did the surgery. Yes? After surgery, these sphincters were injured and then they fibrosed. And then they fibrosed. If fibrosed, then they produce the stenosis. Yes or no? This stenosis produces what high tension in this sphincter. This tension also increases the pressure while passing the stool. Yes or no? This pressure can also cause this hemorrhoids. If it is so, then what should you do? You should reduce this sphincter tone. Or if it is not that, one example I give you. If, you, if the patient has the hemorrhoids, trying to pass this stool, painful. Yes or no? Can the pass, patient pass this stool easily? If can't pass this stool easily, what the patient do? Trying to pass, but pain. Ah. That means? Constricting the sphincter. <laughs> <laughs> so what happens? Trying to pass this to pain, constrict the sphincter. That means the more sphincter constriction, more pressure increases, more chances of hemorrhoids. Yes or no? So what you can do is you can give the sphincter relaxes. What you can give? Sphincter, sphincter relaxes. Example? Nitro? Glycerin, ointment, yes or no, lotion. You can give calcium channel, blood lotion to relax the sphincter. Yes, helps to relieve the pain. Next, by this, if it does not work, what will you do? Conservatively, you can do the band ligation. What you can do? Band ligation. Band ligation means you will have the instrument like this, gone like instrument. Yes? In this gone like instrument, you will adjust the rubber band here. Yes? You will insert inside. Is that clear? You will find the, the bulge hemorrhoids. Putting that the gun tip over this bulge hemorrhoids. Now fire the gun. That rubber will get encircled around this uh, bulge hemorrhoid plexus. Is that clear? Leave it over there. After 10 to 15 days, you have this bulging, you put the rubber band.